Good morning, it's Tony Hayes again from Paranormal Investigation UK and today we're looking at another piece of footage from the 23rd of January regarding the unusual activity at the Chester um, business address. Today's date is the um, Thursday the 11th of February and um, this is I think this is the 9th or 10th of um, yeah this is 11th um piece of footage that's been sent in there's, there's about 20 in total regarding this empty room uh and the activity occurred after a period of about five days of absolutely nothing it then sprung into action um during an 18 minute period starting at 17 22 and continuing on then the 18 minutes both cameras multiple uh, alarms then occurred over this 18 minute period uh, in total the average is around about 15 events per 60 second piece of footage so we're talking around about 250 unusual sounds including raps voices um uh, one of the one uh, yesterday was sounded like a a uh, doll say mama so some real strange phenomena occurring in this particular building so restrictions of uk lockdown and um, we're just unable to go in there at the moment so we're doing various experiments so uh, we've got another one coming on up this sunday uh saturday um so hopefully we can do certain things remotely get the owners to do things on our behalf and we can analyze it later but this particular day was incredibly active i've never come across footage like this before um multiple uh events occurring in one uh it won't just one room over such a small uh time period of just 18 minutes this is what they call the empty room this is what we call camera two i've dealt with all camera one that's on the other side of the room because we need 360 degree coverage because in the past we have had some strange light anomalies now we're predominantly dealing with uh, multiple uh, sounds um, we've got cameras outside the front and the rear of the building monitoring that to ensure that nobody there's no human interaction because there is a emergency uh, exit at the end of the building so we've got that under coverage We've got one covering the roof area to look for any form of um, uh, infestation of vermin, birds, that type of thing. And the only entry and exit into the room is that door there. And we've got a camera in that hallway area. So if anyone comes in and starts to meddle or try to uh, introduce fraudulent uh, phenomena into the building, we're going to pick them up. On this particular day, the owner was in the far end of the building uh, in his uh, main office he could actually hear the the activity at that room and that obviously then he gets reminded of it because of the sheer number of um, captures that then occurred so these are all cctv alarms um all time stamped um and we just get the original footage and then we analyze them it just taken me for it seemed to be forever to get through so many um views on this capture and a lot of these i've never seen uh before because just in the folder uh, so we're sort of doing this live because i don't know what we're going to find looking at the um the audio stream because software i use splits up the audio from the visual i've got no amplification on there whatsoever um that's what's triggered it which is always at three seconds that's what's triggered it there may be something before that's what's triggered the camera it then records for further 57 seconds another one there another one there um another one there there's actually quite some loud ones here and another one there so that's five look and they're quite loud um just over that minute of uh, of footage uh, and there will be other stuff 
in between so what i'm going to do with this uh, i need to go back to the old way of reviewing is look at the visual first then get rid of the visual if there's nothing on there presumably but then concentrate on the audio and um, so we'll, all the volumes are off uh, just normal volume no amplification let's see where this takes us so you will hear some bangs that's the first one just coming up to the second another one you will hear bits of stuff in between another one yeah three Something there. Yeah, I thought I saw something. It just dust that, I think. Let's just go back in. just dust there's no heating on this room um, at all the heating switch off well you can see radiators oh another one there radiators are scattered around the building this shut off because it's completely empty devoid of everything really you can get rid of that um, in the empty in the main office area where the it's been used constantly the heating has been switched on and we are experiencing heat uh, either the room heating up or cooling back down again this is where predominantly the um, these thuds occur or bangs um, just down to the to temperatures really um, this room is not experiencing them uh, plus on the frequency those that are following this case carefully will know those that those bangs and thuds that, that we have captured and in some cases trigger the cameras uh, d do have a rational explanation for because the frequency is so different what's unique is the frequency that these particularly rap sounds tend to occupy um, With this type of phenomenon, I'm always, I'm always looking at for patterns. Um, no, it's not quite, is it? That's the first one's at three seconds. Thirteen. That's like ten seconds. Thirteen. Another ten seconds will be twenty-three. It's not far off every 10 seconds, that. Uh, what I mean by that <coughs> is last year we, we were finding that some of the raps were carrying almost like to a time signature. Um, <coughs> that's 22 seconds. That's 34. This is almost like every 10 seconds. Um, okay. That was a little bit further. Okay. Let's listen. Uh, so what we'll do now is um, just going to highlight. We've looked at the visual. We're happy there's nothing there. Just highlight. Turn the volume up because sometimes we get the accidental stuff that's gone on before that's triggered it but it captures three seconds before and maybe just something in there that uh, may be of interest no nothing there okay turn the volume back down
when I take a screenshot of the, the frequency of these wraps, um, if those are following and do similar, uh, always make sure that your um, volume is switched back down to uh, to normal volume. Don't take um, a measurement on with amp amplification. Um, I define these quite carefully. Uh, either high volume wrap, which I th almost certainly these are going to be, or a low volume wrap where you can hear it but you can't actually see it on the analyzer which is this particular one that I prefer okay okay go to average let's look if we go going for averages trying to keep the um, section of sampled sound as close together as possible that's quite a wide spread you're still around about I think it's just, just we're normally dealing between 500 and 1100 There's a little bit before these are reflections of sound so Certainly, all the uh, amplification switched off. Well, I'll take a quick screenshot off before that sound drives you nuts. It's a little bit different, that. Um, It's still quite a tight frequency. Maybe about a thousand hertz is quite um, sort of double what I expected. Um, All we can actually do that is just simply record that with um, what it is. Um, I'm just going to get this space before. Turn in that amplifier and just get this section now. There. I don't think we're going to get it there. Uh, put that down as a low wrap it shouldn't really be there um, the room should be silent and it's a similar sort of frequency of what we've been dealing with if we compare to the other so you know at the end of the day that is a low volume wrap so I'm just going to take this bass frequency out, which is problematic. Um, Is that a voice or is that a rap? You 
it's almost like a formulated word. I, 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 we've got a quite a big problem with these. Um, because no man are able to define um, frequencies of voices quite easily. But they seem to occupy the same frequency as the raps. Yet it doesn't sound like a rap. The frequency says it is, but it, it doesn't sound like one. But it sounds like a voice, and the voice isn't in voice frequency. So what is it? I have no idea. Um, so I've made a, a fresh uh reporting column called voice stroke rap where i just simply don't know um i don't get enough information from the frequency and i'm having to amplify it to death anyway um it sounds like a voice but it's reacting like a rap so is this significant i don't know um but it needs to recording um which is what i'll do and i'll put that down as a voice come come back and I think now we've got another loud one coming up be ready for this I'm just okay let's grab that section just turn it back down I think that's going to be loud enough to that's actually quite loud I know why. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, everything's back on zero. That's better. <coughs> and there we go. That's your typical rap six rap signature. Quite a tight frequency there. Seven hundred maybe 11 1200 hertz um loud enough to get a, a frequency fix so we mount that down this high frequency uh sorry high volume wrap um okay turn the volume back up Another one there, two actually. These are not going to be loud enough to get a frequency, just a low, low in volumes. These. Just about here in the headphones. There we go. Occupying the same area is the high volume wrap. So what we'll do, we'll mount them down as two. Um, low volume wraps them okay we're going back down because I've got quite a loud one oops these these are so time consuming they're on like 22 seconds um, and we're already on in the 19 minutes um, There we go again, you see. Um, what I need to do, I just need to grab this, this one. What I did, I forgot to do before, is get a, a screenshot. That's what we'll do now. Yeah, that's 
about two. Okay, clear the pipes. Okay, this is route three. Same frequency. Okay. I'm building up quite a picture now. Um, helped by this busy day there's literally 250 maybe up to 300 separate sounds that have been able to analyze and when you're dealing with that high number it makes life very very easy when it comes to taking a theory into uh, a discovery rather than dealing with two or three different sounds when you're dealing with literally hundreds it's um much much easier Right, so let's take off the loop, turn the volume back up, and go again. Ooh. I think that's been the loudest so far, that one. Incredibly easy. You would have thought that um, there would be variations on frequency. I think this is what making this one so unique that the frequency signature is always the same. Um, we just don't know what's caused it. Even when we've done the 160 Q6 sound test last year, we were unable to duplicate anywhere near the frequency. Uh, of these, um, it's about four. Okay. Okay. Turn the volume back up, and we go again. What on earth is that? <laughs> what on earth is that? <coughs> um, I'm wondering if that's a police siren. Um, uh, what do you think? Um, I 
was some distance away and these things have a habit of travelling distance never underestimate the power of a microphone um, what I'm going to have, have a quick um, I have got a couple of samples of um, of sirens to compare but sometimes Google is um, um, your friend when it comes down to finding some information out uh, between 1000 to 3000 I know there's a Pacific um, the reason why is that sort of um, frequency 1000 to 3000 hertz is that um, it's where our hearing is the most sensitive that's the reason why it's on that sort of range it's certainly within that thousand okay it's 1500 but with distance away um, and if you look there there's a little bit of side throw there I I'm going to record that there's a police siren um, one for yourselves those investigators out there looking in that you know we, we use our ears initially to trying to use the memories to find out what sounds like what um, it did sound to me like a a wailing police siren um they, they normally broadcast them between 1000 to 3000 hertz that's the, because that's where our ears are most sensitive and that is 1000 this coverage there I've got some here the higher range is obviously depleted because the sound is traveling over distance it starts to lose frequency it has to go through walls and so on before it reaches a microphone um, but I'm confident that is a siren um, what I do with this um, as I'll mark it and then when I've completed this review I'll go back and send it to my colleagues just to get a second third fourth opinion and uh, we'll record it uh, so um, but certainly that's, I'm pretty confident, that's a police siren. Um, okay. Well, that's your job. Is it doesn't matter if it isn't paranormal. The job at the end of the day is to go find out what a particular uh, you know, sound is. If it, Just because it isn't paranormal doesn't mean to say you're not doing your job. Uh, you're doing your job well if you can debunk or find the rational reason, or better still, the absolute reason. So that sounds like a police siren, and certainly the frequency backs that up. So, uh, and it is distance away, it's some distance away, you can't hear it on the normal volume, it's only been picked up, it's what you call an accidental capture, the camera was already running, I just picked up this background. Um, if you had that on low volume, it can sound like a woman screaming. You could argue, yeah, woman screaming. It isn't. Um, when you turn it up, you get the a better idea of what that sounds like. So, right, that's 44 seconds done. Let's go listen to the rest of it. But I'm going to know that down as a police siren. Coming up to a loud rap. Oh, one before. Okay. There we go. Is that loud enough? No. 
so that we're just going to note that down as um, low volume wrap it is wrap frequency because once I start to turn it up there we go and it sounds rappish as well so that's okay volume back down because now we've got a loud one to to deal with volume wrap there right okay um a screenshot that okay those of you thinking it might be because it all the the frequency is the same it's tempting to say something like a radiator but all the radiators are switched off um so it's not like this cause in it um, and when this lot went off the I did send the owner into back into the building I was always apprehensive at first to go and check it out for any form of anything it may have there's nothing in the room so nothing's could have fallen over but we have had a light fitting it, it fell off last year off one of the fluorescent tubes um, and triggered one of the CCTV cameras and they couldn't find anything looking for bears animal infestation that type of thing coming from the cold absolutely nothing so um it is a mystery what why this building is not only active um all the time but why on this particular day Turn that oh that's the last bit and I think we're nearly done. Yeah, that's fine. So what I'll do is um I'll end the video now. I'm just gonna sample that section off. So that to my colleagues just to so they're aware that of cat well it's cat shit and just get them to uh, agree, you know they may offer up as an alternative explanation but I'm pretty confident that's a police siren so overall what we're dealing with here on this particular one we've got 10 events um, we've got one sound which is could be rap could be uh, could be a voice one of them we've got four low volume raps um, recorded and five um, high volume map so it's 10 events in a, a 60 minute um video that's about one of these what seven six seven seven, seven seconds quite dramatic um one i also will do is to set the loop off i'm going to measure accurately one two three four those wraps uh looking at the time signature that's the first one i'm fairly confident that that isn't exact because i think well last year we had a considerable number exactly two minutes 120 seconds apart from one another um eight of them one two three that's too much for coincidence one being 10 seconds one being 11 one being 12 or 13 seconds isn't a mathematical formula so I'll, I'll i'll go and look at that separately so uh i shall see you on the next video thanks again